In this video, we're going to be talking about the layout sizes. So at first, let's uh, input our map here, the one that we have been working on. There we go. We have our Indo path. Now, let's go to symbology, go to categories and name zero, add all values, apply. Okay, there we go. Now, in layout view, as you can see, the page type here is set as the letter page. So when you go to file and then when you see, look at the print preview here, click on the print preview. This is the print preview that is showing you that the letter size page, this is the letter size page. And this is how your map is going to be um, like in the printed page. If you click on print, it is going to print. Now I'm closing it because this isn't quite what I want. Now, then we have the page and print setup. If you go there, you'll see that you can change the size of it, the paper size from letter. You can go to, there are a lot of options here. So let's first, let's take a look at the A4. Here we have the A4 size. Now, if you click on OK, as you can see, the size has changed to A4 size. Now, what people usually print uh, for large maps. Uh, let's go to page and print setup. There you go from we have, let's say, let's see which one to use. Well, for now, let's say we are going to use uh, ANSIC. There we go. This is the one. And we, we want it to be landscape. You can see the preview here. So this is the landscape of an I, ANSI. See, uh, width is 17 inches. The height is 22 inches. Now if you click on OK, you can see the page size has increased. Let me just remove my catalog. There we go. You can see that the page size has increased here. Okay. So this is our page size. Now we can uh, look at the print preview from here. Uh, there you go print preview there you go this is our a n s i c map the 17 inches by 22 inches and this is how your map is going to look like when you print it out so instead of that we wanted to make it bigger so we're going to drag it and we're going to make it bigger there we go we have the map here then now if you go to uh preview where's the preview again print preview you can see that it has now gotten a little bigger. There you go. So that is how you can change the size of it. And another thing we haven't used, actually, we can go to insert. We can give a neat line here. Now, this is the border. This is going to be the background. Let's take, uh, let's say, circular gradient here, this gradient. Now drop shadow, no drop shadows, click on OK. As you can see, it is giving a gradient color to the background of the mapping place. Now we go to print preview again, and this is how it is going to look like. Now, if you want it to be in the entire page, you can just drag it to your best interest. There you go. There you go. And this is how the entire page is going to be. Let's take a look at the print preview. There you go. This is how this is going to look at. So that is how you can change the pay, sorry, page print setup. And there are a lot of options to choose from. You can even change a lot of stuff from here and the name and the name here as well. You can do that or PDF, you can fax, Microsoft print to PDF. There are a lot of options for the name as well. So. This is how basically you can change your print area and mapping area to work on. So in the next video, uh, in the next video is going to be our mapping sections. Last video in that video, we're going to see the mapping of a study area. So I hope you got to learn something new. And as always, thank you very much for watching. If you have found the video to be useful, please like and consider subscribing to the channel as it will enable me to make more videos like this one. Thank you.